So for today, we're going to be looking at the arms video for the Omega Meccano set. Um, if you guys don't know, the arms are available for sale. This is the last day. This is the last day to get it. So I highly recommend you guys to get it because it is really, really cool. So for this one, we're going to be looking specifically for the Omega Meccano's arms for all the classes. And that's pretty much it. It's just going to be three sets. Um, we're going to be doing this from now on when an armor set gets revealed because that way you guys can see what I'm going to be doing for all of the sets for all of the classes because if I wait for for me to get all of the pieces I feel like that's kind of like a wasted opportunity because you're not going to be able to get all the pieces in one go so I might as well go along with you guys to see what you guys can do with these sets so that's pretty much the the thought process of why I'm doing this so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually going to subscribe so if you can do me a favor like comment sub hit the bell notification because that also does help other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Star Eater Scales, uh, the digital variance ornament for it. Now, this is funny considering um, back in the day, I don't remember how long it was, but I used to actually just showcase each of the armor pieces for one video. In a different context, though, instead of doing the four example sets, uh, I used to only do one for each of the piece. Now I'm doing it in a different way, but it's funny that I'm bringing it back. But for this one, uh, digital variants is what we're using with the Eternal Vengeance vest. I think these two combo so well together. It's like one of my favorite combos that I've done. Omega Mechanos Grasp for this one. Uh, obviously, that's the set that we're going to be, or the piece that we're going to be using. Phenotype Plasticity Mask with the cloak as well because we're going for a Vex theme, obviously. So this one is really cool because the reason I'm using Donning Brilliance for the shader is because the uh, navy blue on the arms actually does not change color. So I wanted some blue in here so that way it could go with that, but also have uh, some Vex pieces. So obviously I'm going for a Vex theme. So this one, the Phenotype Plasticity Mask, the only reason I'm using this mask, A, it's cool. I'm not a hater of it, but I definitely do like um, some other Vex helmets or specifically, there's like two other ones I think that we have that are way better. But the reason I'm using this one is because the Phenotype Plasticity Mask has the red dots. The red dots is really cool because the digital variants also has red in there that does not change color. So that's why I wanted to have these two pieces together because they, no matter what shade are you using, those red dots will never change. So this is like one of the good things about having pieces that don't change color is the fact that you can always go back in and combine it with other shaders that you want, specifically like Donning, Donning Brilliance for this one with the Phenotype Plasticity and the digital variants just goes really well because A, I need some blue in here because the blue for the arms don't change color. That being said, I would not even be mad at you if you told me this was a bad shader for it because it's not a one to one with that blue, but it's close enough that I don't really mind it. So overall, I really love this set. Will it, be, will it become a set that I use with digital variants? Probably. I do have another Vex theme for the digital variants, but I do think this one is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think. As for the next set for the Omega Mechanos, we're going to be using the Titans. Now, specifically, this one is weird. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This one started off as a Mecha theme and then immediately spiraled to more of a, I want to say Fallen, but it's not really Fallen. It, like, it, it is because obviously I'm using these Scatter and Horn pieces, which are, which is, if I remember correctly, Fallen themed, more specifically, like from the old area. I forget what it's called, actually. Give me one second. More specifically from Tangled Shore, that's the the place that we ended up getting this set. And it sucks because I actually really miss Tangled Shore. This is, it was one of my favorite areas in the game just because of just how cool it was. Not only that, um, it was uh, the main area you would go into was like my main area where I would go when I would want to do stuff or just chill and relax because I really like Tangled Shore. So I do miss Tangled Shore. I hope it comes back one day. But... For this one, we're going to be using the Scatterhorn Helmet with the Scatterhorn Greaves. For the chest piece, we're going to be using the Momentous Potential for the Hazardous uh, Propulsion. And then the Thunderous Impact Mark for this. So I really like this set because uh, honestly, the Momentous Potential has, uh, funnily enough, a lot of potential when it comes to like Mecha themed or like Hive themed, not Hive themed, uh, Fallen themed, which is why I gravitated towards Fallen a little bit more just because I have done a um, a mecha theme, which if you guys haven't seen, I've already done the hazardous propulsion video, which is right here. You guys can check it out. So that's where I made two sets and I think both of them are really cool, but I really like this one a lot more just because it's, 
I don't know. Like, I expected not to like the Omega Mechanos gauntlets for with this one, but it's re like honestly, I think it came out really well. The only way this could be even better if the Omega Mechanos gauntlets were actually symmetrical on the pauldrons. I really wish we had the option to turn off like oh do you want one pauldron or two pauldrons like in world of warcraft world of warcraft you can actually change the pauldrons whichever way you want you can use two of different kinds and i think that's really cool and i would love bungie to implement that in a way where oh like do you want the pauldrons on both sides or just one i think that would be so dope because then you really let players just go crazy with it for me i would have both pauldrons on this so that way it could be a, like uh, symmetrical because all the pieces are pretty much symmetrical but yeah i for the shader tangled rust is also a shader i should mention because uh it's all if i remember correctly it's also from uh the tangled shore as well but this one also really cool because it goes really well with the scatter horn helm i think it's actually the shader that goes on it i could be wrong on that but it does look really really cool definitely maybe my favorite set so far and then last but not least we have the omega mechanos gloves i'm gonna be honest with y'all this one is a rough glove like it's terrible it's really just too boring for Vex themed in my opinion um specifically for Vex theme it's just so weird that they gave them just like regular gloves for a Vex theme so for the helmet we'll be using astrocyte first for the arms obviously omega mechanos for the chest piece sublime robes for the boots wrath trail boots and then for the uh bond coronation bond for the shader royal treatment is what we're using now this one is going to seem a little familiar if not familiar because i think i make this for the sublime robes i think i just switched the arms out maybe we'll see because the sublime video will be coming out tomorrow uh i've already i already did the video for it so don't worry uh you guys will not be waiting on that one it will be coming out tomorrow I already have a schedule of videos for this week so don't worry you guys have actually for this weekend partial next week as well so you guys have a lot of content to look at when i'm going to be doing a lot of things as well so i'm going to try to be pushing at least two weeks worth of content and then if we have some cool stuff come up then i will probably just throw it in there as well but for this one um honestly yeah i just ended up taking it from the sublime set because the sublime set was so good that i was like i think i could just switch the arms for the omega mechanos and i think that's going to be really cool now i really do like this set honestly the, the chest piece is just carrying this whole set for me honestly the chest piece is amazing but i really do like the wrath trail boots with it as well it just gives off like oh man it gives off such a cool like like fifth not 50s but like it reminds me of specifically it reminds me of a game called um void uh void something from the ps3 and you play it as a rocketeer it reminds me of that era which is super weird but yeah let me know what you guys think this is video this was supposed to be a short video just because uh, it's literally three sets um i do apologize if i talked a little too much but i am really excited to get the omega mechanical set because i think it's amazing a lot of the pieces are really really cool so Make sure to keep following the content because the Omega Mechano set piece that we get tomorrow will most likely be showcased on Friday. I'm going to try to put, post those on Friday so that way you guys have much more of a time to actually see the video and be like, wow, these pieces are really cool. Let me go to Eververse and collect them because Monday, I think it's just too short of a time to get people to get their eyes on it. So I will most likely be making an extra video today just really telling people to get these pieces because i think the arms are really cool and you guys will definitely regret not getting some of these sets so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later